Hello again everybody and welcome back. Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can pair up the GamePad Plus to your Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV, even your Android box, just so you can use it as a controller, you can play games with it, retro games, anything like that. This method will also work for the PS4 remote and Xbox remote. You just literally have to put those into the same kind of pairing mode and then you're good to go. So I know I look tired today as well. I do apologise, but I've got loads I need to do. And honestly, I need to go and get my beard cut. I only left it this long because I had to do a beard bauble review, I guess you could call it. If you haven't already seen that, I'll put a link in the description down below to my other channel, which I've just started for shits and giggles, really. So, that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I am using the 4K Fire Stick, but as I said before, this will work on any Android device. If you are using an Android box, you will literally... literally wow. You will simply just have to go into Settings, Bluetooth, and then pair it up exactly the same as we're going to in this video here. So, on the Fire Stick, I'm going to go to Settings, down and go across to Controller and Bluetooth Devices. Click on this, and then you're going to see it comes up like this. Click on other Bluetooth devices, then add Bluetooth devices. You may have to go on to game controller devices. I can't remember because I'm tired. <laughs> and on the GamePad Plus, you have to click the Home button and the A button together. So once you hold these down, you'll see the light starts to flash really fast. If you're using a PS4 remote, it's the Share button and the PlayStation button together. Hold them and it'll start flashing and going into pairing mode that way. So as you can see, we're just on Add Bluetooth Devices, it's flashing really fast, but it doesn't seem to be finding it, so I'll click on Back, Back again, and then click on Game Controllers, Add New Game Controller, and see if we can find it in here. Right, so I did go into Add New Game Controller, and it come up with Amazon Fire TV Game Controller. It doesn't usually come up as this, it usually comes up as Wireless Gamepad, but I'm going to try it like this, so I'm going to hit that, and it's going to pair into the controller. And then there you go. You can see we click up, we click down. It's, it's working. So we'll go back all the way home. And then like you say, you can see me start to navigate using this controller. It is a bit fiddly sometimes. Sometimes it'll pair straight up. Sometimes you do have to bear with it. So I'm quickly just going to go into an APK so I can show you how to customise keys and game with it. And then you're good to go. Right, so I will be using this APK that is good for retro gaming. It has everything built in, including emulators. You can find out how to get this on my YouTube channel. But I'm, just, I'm not going to show you how to get it in that. So we're going to click on that. And usually to navigate through, I do use the Amazon Fire TV remote. But if you haven't got one of those, you can use this. I just find it a lot easier. So I'm going to click on that. And you see it says GamePad Plus. So we're going to launch it first of all and just see if it works. And if not, we're going to have to customise the keys. So it's let me press start, so start is to start that game, it's letting me go across, it's letting me go left, it's letting me jump, why, why is he not jumping high, what's up with you, what's, what's, why is he jumping right low, he can't even reach the blocks, and I'm holding it, look, <laughs> what's up, get in that pot of soil, grow a three inch, he can't even get on pot of soil, what a keggy, <laughs> Right, so I am going to show you how to customise the keys. So literally just click on Customise Keys on, on like games from the App Store or the Amazon Store that are supported. You probably won't have to do this, but for this one I do. So I can just navigate around using the D-pad or the analog stick, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And then once you click onto a key, click A and then it'll ask you to press X. So then press X and then that is paired up to that button. So I'll go down to A, click A, and then A again, and then B, so click A, and then B, and I'm just going to quickly pair these up. So once again, last key, I'm going to click A, and then the left trigger, and then that pairs that up. Then I can go back, hopefully we'll launch it, and we'll see if it works. Sometimes it does seem to kick you out like that as well. But I'm going to click the start button, see how we get on. There we go, look. It's grown. Let's, let's get... Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. That's that's how you pair up this, this controller. And like I say, it is simple to do. If you are new to doing stuff like this, it may take you a, a little bit while. A little bit while. 
it may, <laughs> it may take you a little bit longer than it just took me because it can be fiddly. You can't just expect stuff to work straight away. <laughs> you just click triangle as well or the Y button and you'll fly through that. It is fast, look. Warm. There we go. I've completed the level, but I can't seem to get above 100. And I don't know if anyone knows a tip for this, but it's been stressing me out. It's been stressing my daughter out. My daughter nearly smashed the control up. So look, oh, 400, yes. <laughs> that didn't work like I wanted it to. But yeah, that is how you pair up the, this is the C8 Bluetooth gamepad. But like I say, put anything into Bluetooth pairing mode and it will pair up. And that's how you customise keys inside that APK. And that's it, guys. That is really it, like I say. PS4 controllers, Xbox controllers, they pair up as well. You can use them as a normal Fire Stick remote. If you want to use them inside games, I'm guessing they're going to work the same. And I'm guessing you can customise them to work exactly the same as well. So... That being said, guys, I hope this tutorial's answered a lot of your questions because I know this has been a frequently asked question. I hope you have a lovely, lovely festive season and I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go and check out my new YouTube channel because you like me. <laughs> I'm going. I'll see you soon. Ta-da.